Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series Six Months of Set Theory and Higher Order Logic. In this video we're going to be looking at the transitivity of a basic universe, also known as Axiom A1 of a basic universe. The first of the six axioms we're looking at, we're looking at the first four in this month and the next two in next month. All right, the first axiom of the basic universe, V, is very simple. It's that V is transitive. We learned about transitivity in an earlier video. Check that out if you're curious. This means that any member of a set is also a set. Because any member of V is also a member of V. So any member of a set is a set. So sets can't contain something that is a class and not a set. Anything that has, anything that is a set has as all its members other sets. Anything that is a member of a set is also a set. Hopefully I've said that enough ways for it to make sense. All of the members of any member of V are also members of V. Another way to state this is to say that every set is a class. How does that work? Let's take a second and think. This is the claim the statement that every set is a class. We hadn't proven that up till now. We had just stated it and said we were going to get to it eventually. Every set is a class. If every set has as its only members other sets and all sets are members of V, that means that all sets are subsets of V. Let's be clear on that one more time. A subset of V is a class. Classes are defined as subsets of V or subclasses of V. All sets have as their members only members of V. For something to be a subclass, it has to have only members of the other thing. So all sets are subclasses of V, so all sets are classes. How can we conclude that every set is a class? Remember, classes are subclasses of V, while sets are members of V. If we can show that every member of V is a subclass of V, then we've shown that all sets are classes. The definition of a subclass states that all of the elements of the subclass must be elements of the class. That is exactly what our axiom says. All of the elements of sets are members of V, so all sets are subclasses of V, so all sets are classes. Another way to say this is that for the universal class V, all sets X and Y, if X is a member of Y and Y is a member of V, then X is a member of V. Formally, we might say the following. For all X and all Y, X is a member of Y and Y is a member of V implies that X is a member of V. In proofs, this will be axiom 1 or just A1. If we get outside set theory too far, we might say like A1 set theory or something like that to be clear what we're doing, but for now, within the world of set theory, we can call axiom one or just day one. Up next, the swelled basic universe, axiom two. If you've been following along, you can probably guess what the second axiom of a basic universe is. Watch this video and more here at carnades.org and watch a new video every single day for the entirety of October. Stay skeptical, everybody.